Good morning, everybody. Here we are. Wonderful opportunity we have again to get into God's Word and get our dose of it this morning. Uh, this morning, I want to look at something that Jesus is teaching over in Mark, the 11th chapter. This is down toward the end of his uh, physical life before he's uh, betrayed and goes through all, uh, all of that. Uh, but he makes a very important statement, and I think it's a very important statement for us to be reminded of. It's about forgiveness and about forgiving others. Notice what the Lord said. He says, and whenever you stand praying, if you have anything, notice this word, anything against anyone, he says, forgive him. Well, that's hard medicine, isn't it? You know, so many times when somebody does us wrong, first thing in our mind is, I'm getting even. I'm not going to forgive them. I'm not going to let them get away with this. And all this, you know, those type, that's, that's the natural thing to do. But Jesus says, when I'm praying, and I know that somebody has done me wrong, whether it's in my mind or whether it's uh, actual or whatever it is, he says, if, if you have anything against anyone, he says, this is what I've got to do. Forgive him. That word anything is comprehensive. It's not, it's, he didn't say, you know, if you have something or this or that. He says, anything against anyone. That means anybody. Uh, people, my friends, my enemies, whoever it is. He says, against anyone. He says, forgive him. Someone may say, well, they didn't ask, what if they don't ask me for forgiveness? Jesus didn't put that disclaimer in here. He said, forgive them. He says, well, they don't deserve to be forgiven. Hmm. Do you forgive, do you deserve to be forgiven? Maybe someone may have done something against us, and we, and we say, well, they don't deserve to be forgiven. What if God did that? What if God come along and said, you know what? I've had enough of you. You don't deserve to be forgiven anymore. Now, now, now it's in a different prism, isn't it? Notice what Jesus is teaching. He says that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. You see, my friends, if we don't forgive, we don't get forgiveness. I know this is a very hard thing to do, and we can rationalize. We can come up with all kinds of reasons why we shouldn't forgive somebody. You know what? And, and it's all excuses. It's all human reasoning. Say, well, so-and-so killed my child. Okay. There's no disclaimer in this. Okay, it, Jesus didn't say, well, unless somebody killed your child, then you don't have to forgive them. That's what I'm saying. This is hard, hard medicine. You know what? Mankind killed the Son of God, too, didn't they? Did he forgive them? Yeah, those that obeyed the gospel on the day of Pentecost, they realized what they had done. Yeah, he forgave them. Absolutely. And he made forgiveness possible to them. So, what a powerful lesson and point that Jesus is making here. Doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter what they have done. I have to forgive them. And if I don't, I don't get forgiven. He goes on, verse 26, he says, But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Ouch. That's hard, isn't it? That's hard. You know, over in, in, in Luke 11, I believe it's verse 7, uh, it says, Lord, in, or 17, Lord, increase our faith. Jesus was teaching on forgiveness as well, um, in, in that text as well. So, Lord, increase our faith. We need a faith to be increased so that we can do what it is that God says. You know, we all want God's forgiveness. We all want his blessings. We all want his goodness. We all, you know, we want all that he's got to give. Yo, know, but one thing that can stand in the way of that is me harboring anger, resentment, you know, and, and withholding forgiveness to someone else. 
Now, they may not ask for forgiveness, but that doesn't change what Jesus said. We have to forgive them. Now, what that means is, I believe this is what, the, what he's talking about, is that uh, if I forgive them, that doesn't mean that God has. Right? That, that's apples and oranges. Just because I forgive so-and-so for what they've done to me or what I think they've done, that doesn't mean that they're off the hook with God. They've still got a problem with God. But I believe what the point, uh, one of the points that Jesus is making here is that I have to forgive others because I, uh, what they have done to themselves is worse than what they have done to me. You say, well, what are you talking about? How, I mean, how, how could them doing me wrong be, how, how could that be worse uh, on them than what they've done to me? Here's why. Is because if they truly have sinned against us and does something against, they have a problem with God. That's a bigger problem than what discomfort or sorrow that may have been caused to you or I. So we don't think about that. All we think about is what's been done to me, how my life has been turned up upside down, how my life has been uh, absolutely uh, thrown into chaos. It may be so. But none of that is worse than what the other individual has done towards God. So many times we don't think about that. We just think about us and what's been done to us. You know, what's been done to us, you know, it, it may cause us pain, it may cause us sorrow. But if our faith is as it should be, it shouldn't cost us our soul. But the soul of the one that has wronged us their soul is now in danger. And so they've got a bigger problem on their shoulders than, than what we have on our shoulders of what they have done to us. And so I think, believe that's the idea of what Jesus said. Forgive others if I want to be forgiven. Hmm. Hard medicine, isn't it? It is difficult. It is difficult. But it doesn't change uh, the fact of what Jesus is saying. Anything and anyone, forgive them. Forgive them. So that I can have forgiveness from God. There's your dose of God's word. I'm going to leave you with that. I hope it will get your wheels turning. I hope it will help you when you come across those bridges that you may have to forgive somebody that's done you wrong, whether they've asked for it or not. We still, forgiveness is still laid upon our shoulders towards that individual. Hey, hope you have a great day. Lord willing, tomorrow we'll get back together and get us another dose of God's Word. And until then, y'all have a great day.